doing this morning. Now, I think it'd be very difficult to escape from the the uh, the, the misery, uh, the horror of uh, what's uh, been going on uh, in uh, Israel and Palestine. I don't want to uh, dwell too much on this, not because it's not important. Um, it's truly horrific. It's hellish in my view. Um, and certainly I don't think this is the place to discuss what would be called the politics of the situation. And uh, there are many places, of course, where you can where you can do that. Uh, what I, I don't want to I don't want to not say anything. It's, it seems wrong and uncomfortable not to mention it at all, given that it's a, a very it's, it's truly disgusting, atrocious situation. And it would be wrong not to mention it or just to avoid the subject completely. Um, the best I feel I can do in the situation that we find ourselves in is do what we always do, I think, which is to appeal to human beings, to people, and deal with this on a people level and uh, do what we can to help our, our, our brothers and sisters, our, our fellow human beings, whether they're from Israel, from Palestine, uh, from Iran, America, everybody who has some... Well, we all have some um, interest uh, in, in the widest possible use of the word in this situation. Some are, are being more horrifically and tragically affected um, than others um, in, in, the, in the immediate sense. But this is one of those situations, I think, in the world where we're all affected and what happens will, will affect us all and already is affecting um, the general atmosphere and... and, and um, our, our outlook, our human outlook in the world. So my my request, my invitation is that we reach out to people of the nationalities who are directly involved to see how we can support them. You know, the, we are, of course, a group mainly of um, international foreigners, immigrants, expats, whatever, whatever word you want to use, living here in Portugal. And there will be, of course, people from those communities who are most immediately uh, affected. And I think what we can do, the best thing we can do is not to add our um, input politically or the understandable anger and emotions that go with this. I don't think this is the place necessarily for that. But what, we, what we're what we good at, I believe, is, is, uh, is offering a space for people to come together and to support each other. You know, we are, we are, there may be people from those, from the countries immediately affected, from the cultures immediately affected, who are a long way from home, who are struggling with the, with the, what they're seeing and, and what's happening to their families and friends back home. Perhaps we can offer support and a space to be uh, helpful to those people. So that's, that would be my request, my invitation to people from anyone who obviously, who is, who, who feels this deeply and who wouldn't, and specifically those people in, in the cultures directly affected. Let's see what we can do as our as our immigrant network, which is effectively what we are, formally or informally. Um, let's see what we can do to help people. Um, it's not something I want to avoid, but it's not something I want to talk about in a way that probably isn't very useful in the grand scheme of things. Let's do what we can do that might be useful in this situation.